So we've heard of the phrase stream of consciousness, meaning we just follow our thoughts. What we are not aware of is a term that I just kind of thought of yesterday called mainstream consciousness. Imagine somebody asks you a question about politics or something going on in the mainstream media. And I would honestly answer, I don't know. I don't have enough knowledge of that to answer these questions. And my only response to that would be, I'm not a part of this mainstream consciousness. Now, what am I a part of? My stream of consciousness. It's like you've got the Mississippi River, which is the mainstream consciousness, just cutting through America. And then, whoa, true that on both ends. Um, but you've got the Mississippi River, and then you got all these little creeks and whatnot. It's like, we can be on that creek. And after time, a creek can turn into a river. And after that, a creek can lead into a greater pool of water somewhere. Or it could just develop into a canal, maybe. Who knows? I don't know the difference. But this mainstream of consciousness, this mainstream consciousness has a current to it. It'll rush your ass. And we need to be cautious of this. Because, boom, it could sweep you right under your feet. Next thing you know, you're down the stream. We need to take a step outside of that stream of consciousness and just observe it. We need to quit being a part of it and observe it and see, hold on, those aren't my thoughts. That stream of consciousness was just thinking for me. When we start to follow our own stream of consciousness, it looks kind of like this. We put the phone down and we live our lives. We just think for ourselves. Following the mainstream of consciousness is being reactionary to everything that we see on our phones. Swiping and, huh, or, huh. We don't even do that. It's more of a, <laughs> we do a nasal scoff. Or sometimes we just feel this fire in our heart and then we feel, we feel that fire so deeply that we decide, okay, I'm going to take action mean comment part of your free will is in your own stream of consciousness part of thinking for yourself instead of having somebody do the thinking and acting for you or not even the acting but the thinking and the feeling for you is pulling yourself from that mainstream consciousness sorry i got off track because my cat just went wild but just think out loud, like I'm doing right now. All of my videos are me just thinking out loud. I'm thinking out loud and okay, you might see the ups and the downs. You might see me counteract myself, contradict myself. You might see me fluoride stare until I find something else to say. I'm working on trying to slow it down. Yes, but I'm worried about your my audience. I I want you all to stick around and listen, so I try to blah, 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 spit stuff out so fast, but really, that's part of the mainstream consciousness. Part of my stealth is still swept into that. I came from the mainstream consciousness, like I said, that Mississippi River that delves off into little creeks. I'm working on cutting myself off from that and becoming my own independent stream. Wow, that really made it all make sense to me. I'm going to be an independent river. I am an independent river. Another thing I want to talk about is self-talk and how we talk. Because our words, boing, bounce right back to us and psh, slap us in the face. Or they could give us a hug. Choice is yours. Peace out. And it didn't pause. On 456.
Hmm. And I saw three, two, one. Interesting. I'm going to do it right this time.